Turn, Turn it, it up. up. Turn it up. Turn it up. My book is Jim Crow's Last Stand, Non-Unanimous Criminal Jury Verdicts in Louisiana. It describes how in Louisiana, people can be convicted of a crime when only 10 of the 12 jurors think that they're guilty. It has created a situation where Louisiana has the highest incarceration rate in the country. And it deals with a marginalized population that is so marginalized that it is often forgot about, the prison population. The book tells the story of how this law was a creature of Jim Crow retrenchment after Reconstruction. Fortunately, because it was able to circulate in the state and to teach people about the racist history of that law, a movement began to change it. Ultimately, earlier this year, the state legislature uh, passed a constitutional amendment to get rid of the practice. It will be voted on in early November by the Louisiana population. It demonstrates not only that history is still relevant in modern society and that it can actually be made to speak truth to power, but it also demonstrates the power of university presses to get information that comes from the university and spread it out to a much wider audience than our classrooms and the cloistered journals that only uh, academics read. University presses are able to spread this message and have a lasting impact, and in this case, can even change a state constitution. A state constitution that will end up affecting literally thousands of people, as roughly just less than 40% of Louisiana's criminal population was convicted when either one or two jurors believed that that person was not guilty. If university presses can do this, they can do so much more. I am grateful to LSU Press for publishing the book and grateful to the legislators and people of Louisiana for taking the time to understand it and to vote in favor of changing the last Jim Crow law in the nation.